Solo just released their new bottle, the 260LI, which is a lithium-powered battery sprayer. Now this is the follow-up to their old sprayer, which is the Solo 460. Uh, and given how successful this bottle was, we thought it made sense to make a video kind of explaining the differences between the new one and the old one. Performance-wise, they are almost indistinguishable. They even use the exact same adjustable tip on them. That being said, you'll notice that there was a redesign on the head shape itself. The main reason for that was to reduce the cracking you would experience right here if you ever dropped the bottle or moved it around too quick. So this one's a lot more stout and if you drop it or misplace it or anything like that, you shouldn't have any issues with it cracking or breaking. The main purpose for the redesign was for durability of the sprayer, but they did add a couple of quality life features as well. First thing they changed was the ability to remove the battery from the new Solo 260. Uh, you're still getting up to 90 minutes of runtime, continuous runtime, as well as around a 60 minute charge time. Now, since you'll only ever be using this in short bursts, that 90 minute runtime will likely last you up to a couple of months. You're still getting that one liter bottle uh, with the weighted tube inside of it, so you can spray at any angle and the weight will actually roll around in the bottle to pick up the liquid. And that's basically all the differences between the Solo 260 and the old Solo 460. If you've had this one before, you know how good they are and you'll definitely enjoy the new version. Likewise, if you've never had a Solo sprayer before, I would highly recommend picking one up, especially if you find yourself using things like McKees or invisible glass often. You can get the new Solo 260 in our store at obsessedgarage.com. And if you have any questions about this sprayer or any other sprayers we offer, let us know in the comments or reach out directly at support at obsessedgarage.com.